What a sad day it is, everyone. Why is it a sad day? Well, it's the day that I get to take my GT to storage for the winter. It's officially November 13th. And it's, this is going to be the last sunny day for the foreseeable future. So I said, this is the day that we have to do it. Um, quite upset about it. It's been so lovely. This weekend I rode almost 250 miles, which is just stunning. Let's see, can I get this in? go that's in let's get this bitch started easy peasy always starts up that's for sure so today's video we're going to do a quick little recap of the year quick little recap of what we've done on the bike this year and kind of what the plans are over winter for the royal um, getting it ready for next season. That being said, let's go. All right, so as 2020's riding season's coming to an end, yes, Michigan's riding season is cut short. I don't live in Arizona where you could ride year long except for the summer when it gets too hot you know we have seasons here and we have to deal with them kind of sad but 2020 let's talk about it 2020 started off good we had some good days of riding um i think my first day of riding was in january which was lovely i think there was like a 50 degree day in january and that was the first day did a huge long not like a huge long like 20 miles or something it was so much fun um great day great day and then COVID started happening, some issues. We were asked basically to stay inside and I didn't get a ride as much at the beginning of the season, which was kind of fine because the weather was, it kind of got garbage in March and April. Um, we got a few good rides in, went out to hell and all of that. From there, some big news, obviously the Royal Enfield ambassadorship happened. Super fucking excited about that, as you guys know. Um, great partnership obviously i love my royal infield as you guys can see that i'm currently on that bike um absolutely love the partnership i'm really excited for next year and for years to come on everything cool happening with royal infield um and they were lucky enough i was lucky enough for them to lend me a himalayan um i had a 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan BS4, which is the new version for the US that doesn't have to abide by the BS6, which is like an emission standards in Europe and not Europe, like India, the rest of that world, ever basically everywhere outside of the US. So I had that bike for a few weeks and I absolutely loved it. The Himalayan was such a fun bike. Nothing but smiles. I took it on some cool trails. Um, it rained for like the first week that I had it of like the three weeks but made some cool videos, a cool first ride, um, took it to a cool bike show, took some, some dirt trails, all sorts of fun stuff on that bike. And unfortunately I had to give it back so it could be taken to the next press guy. Um, and then what else? I got a nice little fun ambassador package where I put some, I got uh, the SNS stainless steel mufflers on my bike. It sounds absolutely beautiful, truly just a beautiful sounding uh, bike now that it's no longer straight piped. Oh, what else? I guess as I'm driving by it, it's important to know that I did get pulled over when my bike was straight piped. I got a lovely misdemeanor, which is like above a speeding ticket. Had to go to court. That got dropped down to just a fine. Complete garbage. Just complete garbage. But that happened like right there. That's done so. But yeah, installed the stainless pipes, had a blast with this bike. Um, over winter, this is what I think I'm going to be doing. Um, I have new mirrors that I'm going to put on the bike. Really excited for that, Royal Enfield sent me some stuff. I have new leg boots, like the fork boot covers. Very excited to put those on, give it kind of more of a cafe racer, but like brutish look. I'm gonna find, I think I'm gonna take my bars off and the forks i'm going to get them anodized black and then i think it's time for me to wrap the tank and i don't know what color to wrap this but i would love your thoughts i'm thinking a 
dark gray or like a uh, matte gray and then matte gray basically everything else out and try to just darken up basically anything that's chrome on this bike i just want to get it dark i want to throw a nice little like, i don't know what it's called it's kind of like the metal grill or metal mesh that goes over the light housing it's kind of a cool look that i want i've also been trying to figure out how i could mount like a another headlight like a small little yellow light i don't know i've got ideas i've got ideas guys but like now is the time to do it so if you have ideas that you'd like me to do let me know in the comments because we need to keep that content churning to get these bikes get this bike and youtube full of some fun lovely content throughout the winter but yeah i don't know I've seen too many people do like British Racing Green, so I don't really want to do that. I've seen some blacks, and like the bike comes in black, so I feel like I'd have to do something that like stands out. I saw a guy do a, it was on a Triumph, but it was like all black with white, and, it's the, and the white lettering said Triumph across like the bottom section of the tank, and I thought that'd be really cool to do. With saying like Royal, or it says my last name, which would be kind of dope and douchey as fuck but like you know me guys that's kind of what's fun to do Ooh, it is chilly boy chilly 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 let's see if they fix this road Ooh. definitely didn't it's such an interesting road it's got actual curves but the road surface just sucks yeah Ooh. and we're in a school zone so like as i'm like driving up there i'm already thinking like what modifications i'm going to do this year new lovers black of course um i want to see i don't know if i could ever get the fork Sanction? 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 Um, anodized black. I feel like dealing with that might be just too much of a pain in the ass, honestly. Um, but I know I can get these all black. I might do that. And then this. I might try to get rid of the cluster and make it either just like a phone. I don't know what I was just doing with that clutch. Make it a phone mount or just like a single LED. I want to see what Revival has. They might have something trick that's just clean. Yeah, something just like super single. Like maybe the tack, maybe the speedometer. Hell, maybe I don't even need the tachometer. Maybe just the speedometer and like a clock would be cool. Let me know your thoughts. Um, it's also, it's cold as shit. Didn't think it was going to be this cold today, but like, I wish I had a heavier jacket right now. That's for sure. I'm gonna miss writing. It's so sad. The end of the year, end of the season, like this year just flew fucking by and it had so many weird, so many weird things happened this year, right? Um, I moved houses, COVID, went to Colorado for a month, didn't have my Royal. I had the Ducati though, that was nice. Just, you know, just crazy things. Crazy things. I'm excited for next year. I'm excited for new things. Um, but like, just ultimately I'm going to be very sad that writing is over for at least next few months unless I can find a way to snaggle a press bike somewhere. Love that blue on that GTI. Love it. And on we go into the shop where we will lay for the next few months. So sad. Holy fucking yeah, I got chilly. Oh, hi.
Oh, it's so warm. Exhaust to the face. I'm trying to get as close as we can. Friends. Ow. <laughs> and just like that. <sighs> At least it's got some good company.